In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an eSIM profile from scratch. This complements our other video that shows how to edit and modify an already existing profile. I'll show you a methodology which lets you conduct this in a very efficient way, even if you do not know all the bits and details of the technical specifications inside out. Also, the intention is to show a methodology which prevents from errors as, as much as possible. For the purpose of this video, I'm using our EOSC Profile Creator tool. So let's start to create a new profile by pressing the respective button. As the tool we are using has some built-in support capabilities for our task, it is important that we select the version of the specification that shall apply for the profile. Let's use the latest specification, the version 3.2. As a starting point, the minimum profile structure is automatically generated, consisting of the profile header and the PEnt profile element. That's good, as it means that making errors in this is already prevented. An eSIM profile is at the highest level structured into the profile elements. These cover all the different aspects of the profile and the file system. So it makes sense to create the profile at this level of granularity before zooming into the details. What we can do here is to create the profile elements that we need one after another. Same as for the header and the end, a default body for each profile element is automatically created, making sure that at least until this point I have not coded any errors. So let's add some of the initial profile elements, including those for a new sim application. The profile element usim contains all the mandatory elementary files related to usim. The profile element optusim covers all the optional EFs. Let's look for example at the profile element usim on the right hand side in the ASN1 notation here. What you see is a couple of elementary files like the EFIMSI and some others, but not a lot. This is because we are utilizing the standardized templates for the profile elements. So EFs are not displayed here as long as their content does not deviate from the standard. We can switch from the ASN1 view of this profile element to the editor view on the top here. Here we see the full list of elementary files in this list which are part of this profile element. Let's also look at the profile element optusim over here. What you see is no elementary file at all. But let's also go to the editor view of this profile element and you see again the full list of elementary files. But what you can see at the leftmost tick box, none of them is switched on. So if I want to switch on and make use of an elementary file in this profile element optusim, I just tick the respective box, for example of this EFLI. LI stands for language indicator. So I make the tick in the box and the elementary file is added. I see the file control parameters here and I can configure the file content. The file content is a language in this case, which I can select just from this pull down menu. I choose a an arbitrary one and I can switch back to the ASN1 notation and see what happens there. Now what you see is this EF language indicator has been added with a file content which represents the language which I have selected. In this way you can compose your eSIM profile in a very structured way with those features which are relevant for you, starting with the profile elements and then going to the details of the elementary files. The TCA standardized templates allow you to focus on those configurations where you intentionally want to deviate from a standard profile. You can add or remove profile elements and elementary files as you like by just clicking. And the editors allow you to specify the administrative aspect of the elementary file as well as the content without the need to understand the bit and byte of the encoding in the hexadecimal re representation. This is what I wanted to show you in this video. In other videos we show for example how to compare two profiles or how to validate profile against the TCA, Etsy and 3GPP specifications.